Welcome all. Today I'm going to tell you about the automation of file download using Selenium. Okay, so for that purpose, uh, let me show you. This is my page which I've created for this uh, for showing the automation of uh, download image. It can be download image or it can be any file you can say. So first of all, let me show you what happens that when you by default click on any uh, link which is uh, which is going to download a file for you. What happens that by default the file will be downloaded on a default download folder. For example, I can show you currently this is my download folder which is blank here and when I click on it, let me click on it. When I click on it, you will see it has downloaded the file download peacock, peacock and it is going to the you can say download. So this is the case here by default. But in automation, what is the need is that using automation? My need is that whenever I download any image, any file, any type of file, it can be image, it can be file, it can be PDF file, any file which you are downloading that should download in a specific folder. For example, in automation framework, maybe I will create a folder automation test images. And what I have to do that whenever I download any type of file, it should save under this folder. So how it is possible? Let me show you using automation. OK, so for that purpose, I've already written the code. The first line of code is that uh, using a string variable, you are giving the path of the default directly default folder, which you want to use as a default download file folder. So this is my D automation images. You can say that is the same one currently, which is blank here. OK, this is first. Second line is that you have to create a map. The purpose of this map is that so with the help of this map, whatever you can say, whatever keys, whatever uh, setting you want to give in your Chrome browser, in your Chrome browser, you want to set some uh, settings that you can do with the help of this map. So first of all, in this map, I have to set a key that is called default download under dot default underscore directly. The purpose of this key is to give or set the path of default download directory in your automation. So this is key and path you can see uh, that is already I've taken with the help of this variable. OK, so now once you have set the key, second uh, uh, line of code is that you have to create a Chrome option because what is the purpose of Chrome options? Whatever setting you have set in your this Chrome preferences variable, that is a map. That is a map that you have to set in the Chrome options class. So first of all, you have to create a Chrome options class. Uh, OK, and after creating the object of Chrome options class, you will use a function that is called set experimental options. And and there is a key preference. PREF pref keys, matlab, whatever keys, whatever setting you want to, uh, 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 whatever settings you want to do in your Chrome browser, you can first of all set in this, uh, you can say in this preference pref key variable, and then here you give the uh, type of setting map. So whatever map you have created here, you will give the reference of that map here. So you have given the reference map here. After that, what happens that every setting is available in your op options, Chrome options variable or reference variable. Now you will uh, uh, set the system property in latest uh, versions. You don't need to set it. OK, uh, but uh, in uh, some time, if you are facing any problem or if you are using the any old version of Selenium, then you have to set this key. Then you will uh, create the object of a uh, definitely you are going to create the object of a driver driver called a new Chrome driver so that you can open the Chrome browser. But here you will see especially we are using the Chrome driver with the options as a parameter so that when the Chrome browser will open it will it will be open with all the settings which have, you have given in your Chrome options. So it means when this browser will open by default whenever you are going to download any file it will be downloaded in this the automation images folder. After that, I have just uh, give the URL of the page. That is my uh, sample page URL. You can see here that is header page URL. OK, and uh, after that, I've just given a thread dot sleep little bit time so that you can see the automation little bit slow on my screen. And after that, this code is only used. Uh, you can have used this uh, if you are going to run the same automation multiple times. So maybe in the previous uh, previous uh, automation run file is already available in your folder maybe file is already download here so next time you will run so what will happen the requirement is that first of all it should delete the old downloaded file and then should download the new file here so for that purpose i have created this line of code and you can say then i have click on the download image link okay so uh, this is simple uh, you can say uh, web uh, that download link locator and you know that in slim you can easily set it like you can simply right click and inspect it and whatever is the link Maybe any link is there, maybe image. So you can get the uh, XPath from this uh, HTML code here. And then you can use it in your locator. So once you find it, you have clicked on this one. And then simply I have uh, 
again give a simple wait of 2000 millisecond and then I've closed it. So currently you can say before run it is blank. So let me run it and see it is downloading on the default D automation folder or not. So it is downloaded and if you go to here in automation, you can see here it is downloading the same. Okay, let me show you in the, uh, you can say icon view so that you can see, you can see here. This is my peacock image, which I have downloaded. By default, it was downloading in the download, but now using automation, you can download it here. Okay, so this is, uh, you can say automation of code uh, for do file download and I will copy this whole code in the description of this video. So if you want, you can copy the whole code from uh, from the description of this video okay and if you like my video you can put some comment here you can like also and if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you